not been the last few years. So I'll start off at the beginning. When I joined, I didn't have any skills. I was a grad, I didn't know anything, and I was on the bench for about a month. And I was feeling a bit worthless, until finally an email came through from Danny Starr and it said, please book Darren on this nap job. And I was ecstatic. I felt amazing. You make great puppies. And I thought, <laughs> I'm finally being valued to something. And then I scroll down the email to see what happened before the email came directly to me. It starts off with an email from Danny to retain. Can you please book Sean on the nap job? <laughs> retain says, Sean's not available. So Danny writes back, can you please book Stefan on the nap job? Retain writes back, Stefan isn't available. So Danny says, is there anyone in the whole of the team who's free? Darren Zuckerman's free. And then the email came in where I got CC'd, can you please book Darren on the nap job? But I started off, it was a good job, met a few people, Krishna was on the job. If you're ever late for a meeting with Krishna, just walk through the city, because you get plenty of encouragement. There's a bunch of groups saying, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari Krishna. <laughs> So Krishna is a, a good PDM, um, but uh, I, I had to get a new PDM lately, recently, about six months ago, because my PDM left the company. Um, and back then we didn't have Bray Rice's PDM dating sheets that he sends us out with. But I knew that I wanted Jerry as my PDM, and I had to ask him. And I felt that asking Jerry to be my PDM was a lot like asking a girl out when you're in primary school. <laughs> I sent him a message on Skype, I'm like, hey Jerry, um, I was wondering, <laughs> do you like, maybe, want to like, be my PDM or something? <laughs> I had a backup plan, like if he said no, haha, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. <laughs> but I got Jerry's a PDM. Um, now one of the first things that Jerry did was he took me to an Alteryx user meeting. So for those that don't know, Alteryx is an ETL software where you put in data and it does stuff for you, it's great. And I thought we'd go to this meeting, they'd be, show, they'd be showcasing things, we'd be meeting people from Alteryx, but it was a bit different when I walked in. So I walked in and we're sitting around in a circle and Jerry gets up and says, hi everyone, I'm Jerry and I'm an Alteryx user. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. <laughs> and Jerry continues, I first started using Alteryx three years ago and I enjoyed it. But it's never been the same since. <laughs> you know, now everything, I need a left join, I go to Alteryx. I need to aggregate data, I go to Alteryx. Should I turn vegan? Let's ask Alteryx. <laughs> but the weirdest thing about Alteryx is that they've got a license key. So we've got a license key, which means we have the same key that everyone at the firm can use, but only 20 people can be using it at the same time. So when you want to use Alteryx, you have to reach out to someone like Gilsey, and you say, Gilsey, what's the Alteryx key? You get someone to take, to get off the seat. Someone has to, sorry, I'm really thirsty. <laughs> Someone has to get off the seat, unlicense themselves, and someone else has to jump back in. And Gilsey makes sure to write in the email, just make sure that as soon as the person jumps off Altrix, you click submit right then and you log in your key right away. As if there's just a bunch of people <laughs> trying, to trying to log on to Altrix <laughs> at every minute of every day. And if you don't jump on straight away, someone's going to take that spot. Mate, once you've had Alteryx, you never go. <laughs> well, exactly it. Then I realised oh, there probably is. It's probably Jerry from the meeting. <laughs> Just trying to get his fix. 
Alright, that's all I got for you.